Hello, in this Steam Deck emulation video, I am going to show you how to set up PPSSPP, got that you know, correctly, which is a PSP emulator. And so this is going to be using EMU Deck, and I find that just aids the process significantly. If you want to do it directly, I've got a separate video covering that, so feel free to check that out. So I say this video does not condone piracy, it is for educational purposes only. I, I legally own a you know a console, okay, free PSP console, PSP 1000, nothing two 1000s or a 1000 and a 2000, I think two 1000s and a PSP Go, and the game that I'll be trying as well, which will be GTA Liberty City Stories. Love that game, and voice it later on. Okay, so first of all, you want to go to desktop mode, press the Steam button, and go to power. Go to switch to desktop, and it will take a few seconds and it will go to desktop mode. What I will say is, once it switches to desktop, don't try and use it straight away. I find the mouse either doesn't work, or it works now in the newer versions of Steam OS, or it just it, it's a bit patchy. Again, that might be fixed in a future version. It should be all right now. So there's a few ways. So let me cover how to actually navigate desktop mode. You can either just you know click on a particular location and you'll activate a click plus you'll put the, the mouse there. You can B just use the trackpad, the right trackpad to move the mouse. And if you click, so let's say if I click that, it click the trackpad in, it actually acts as a left click. The R2 button also acts as a left click. L2 acts as a oh, P room, one second. Yeah, there we go. L2 acts as a right click. So now what you want to do is open up Firefox, or if you have a different browser installed, feel free to use that. And if you can't find it, Firefox, go to all applications and you'll see it there. Now, click on the search bar. You want to go to emudeck.com. You might be thinking, how do you make the keyboard appear? Or how do you type? You have to press Steam and X. This may not be the case in a future version, but right now you have to initiate the keyboard yourself. Type in EMU deck. I've got it already here, but you just click enter and go to download. Go to download installer. Click OK. That's just telling us we need to put it onto the desktop, which we'll do in a second. So you've got, so I've got a bunch of versions, but if you just right click using now to copy, go to desktop right click and paste one file. I've already got it, so I'm gonna leave it alone. And now we can actually open up EMU deck. So open this up, because I've already installed it. You'll come, you'll you know, check for updates and you'll appear as if it's you know doing an update, but the process is exactly the same. You'll say, I think quick mode and custom mode or quick install and custom install if you're doing it for the first time. You go to custom update, you can use your, you know, touch screen here if you want, or just use the trackpad. Select where you want your ROMs to be installed, so this is your games. And bear in mind the BIOS files, so for PSP we don't need any extra BIOS files, but other emulators do, like PS2, PS1, I'm trying to think what others, use your Switch, they need some files as well. They will be stored on the SD card or wherever you you know, select now as well. So I'm going to choose SD card. Click continue. Choose your device. Make sure Steam Deck is selected. Should be by default. Continue. And now deselect everything, and you just deselect it by clicking on it, and it will make it go grey. Select PPSSPP, and might not say update. Yours probably won't say this, but if it does, you just deselect. Go to PPSSPP. Click continue. Choose your emulation station theme. I'll stick with Epic Noir. That's my go-to theme. Next, yep, just put that as no, click finish. Okay, you might be wondering what happens if, let's say, you watched one of my many other EMU deck setup videos. Maybe you watched it for Duck Station, which is a PlayStation 1 emulator, and now you're wanting to install the PSP emulator, PPSSPP. What happens if you deselect Duck Station, you select PPSSPP, will it, you know, delete it? Will it reset it? It won't touch it. So you don't need to worry about that. You'll act as if it's, you know, doesn't exist, but you won't actually delete or reset it. So as long as you don't select in any of those menus, you're, you're fine. So next, we can, I'm going to show you where to add your games. So open up the folder, or the finder, and go to wherever you've installed it. So for me, it's in 
the on the memory card go to emulation go to roms find the psp folder psp there we go and you just copy and paste your files here so i've got iso files i think cso files will work as well in terms of getting obviously I, again for legal purposes i cannot show you how to get these games but honestly if you google the name of the game space you know psp space download you'll get it but like in terms of getting files onto the steam deck you better have one of two options or a few options but we'll say okay i'll cover all of them as, as yeah cover all of them you can either a download it directly onto the steam deck b use something like warpinator which is a i've got the application here i'll probably create a separate video on this and you can use winpinator so that's winpinator w-i-n on your windows machine to actually copy and paste files to and from you know the steam deck or i guess you could you know use the usb slot on the top here and plug in a usb stick for example and copy it over that way but wimpinator and warpinator combination is my go-to one okay once you've done this we don't see, need to add any bar files we can close that click steam launch steam rom manager go to yes now deselect the parser toggle this will deselect everything enable emulation station de and emulators why have we done this the reason is if you don't it will have all the emulators that you've just installed on by default like ppsspp you know for the psp emulator i should say and when it's the ppsspp emulator and what that does is it shows all your games that you've got in your steam library you don't want that because let's say if you have 50 psp games 100 ps1 games and let's say a thousand game boy and game boy advance and nintendo ds games which you easily could they all appear there whereas if you use the method that i'm showing you it will just be clean and there'll be a collections tab which i'll show you later on click save it always produces an error for me but that's fine still works click preview click generate app list takes a few seconds for it to appear and if you've got more than emulation station installed and CEMU, you know, just pops up, you know, here, like so. And doo -doo 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 -doo. you just maximize it and just scroll down. And everything will appear. So PPSSPP is there. You literally just select the icon that you want. I'll leave it as default. You can download the icon with this button and on the button on the left. If you click it, you can choose your own custom icon. And do, 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 do. that's really it. Just click Save App List. Click Close. I'm going to show you one last thing. And you want to open up EMU Deck. Yeah, okay, um, there's one last thing, it's not last thing, I, I forgot to show you. Make sure you, it's not required, but I recommend it, you know, select emulation station as well, not just the emulator, not, not just the emulator. Selecting emulation station, you know, does give you that other, you know, system with a better interface. So that's worth, you know, checking out as well. So I'm going to go back. The other thing I want to show you is go to tools and stuff. Go to EMU deck compressor. Let me focus in a bit. Oh, sorry, EMU deck compressor does not work for PSP, that's my word. And the only other thing I want to show you is update emulators and tools. So you can update directly via this instead of going to the other method. And do, 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 PSP will be a flat pack then. PSP, just deselect them, enable the one you want to update, click OK, and it will pop up with any updates. And last thing, if you go to emulator guides, Select the emulator, so PPSSPP. If you're messing around around with the configuration, you might end up having this issue where, not an issue, you might just mess something up and you don't know what you changed and you want to reset it. Come here, click reset. Some hotkey commands here. I'm going to have a separate video covering that because I prefer using a particular controller layout. So again, I'll cover that. And other than that, we're good to go. Now you can return to gaming mode. And now we can launch up our games. So there's two ways of launching the games up. You either use Emulation Station, 
or use PPSSPP. I'll show you both methods, but for PPSSPP, I prefer using the emulator instead of emulation station for the simple reason, because you're gonna want to ideally set a particular controller layout. And if you do emulation station, you have to change it every time you launch up a new emulator uh, or different emulator. Okay, so let me show you where all this appears. Go to Steam, go to Library. There's a, there's a Collections tab here. A bit laggy there. And you have Emulation Station and PPSSP. Let me show you this. So if you go to here, this is the interface for the Epic Noir one. Scroll down, find PSP. It's only PSP. Click that, and then all my games appear here. So that's one option that you have. You can pick your game right here. There's not much customization to it. And I'm going to close this now by pressing the Steam button and going to exit game. The other method, which is recommended, is just launching up PPSSPP and go to controller layout and in the community layout you want to select where is it? this one rockman 193 steam deck optimized this is the one that i prefer and i've got a separate video covering this in more detail it's the hotkeys and save state video so if i go back and you can you know modify these buttons so you can leave it as is click play and i'll do a brief overview of what's in here as well so you can go to games or recent so games all the games will appear there you can add another directory by clicking plus and finding the directory if you want and we can go to settings you can change the back end if you want to vote to OpenGL Vulkan Vulkan honestly works really well I'll leave you at that rendering resolution it'll probably do you at 3x by default that's a good resolution in terms of the rendering resolution in terms of the resolution screen size of the Steam Deck versus the original resolution of the PSP. You can hire it, but it doesn't really matter. Increase anti-aliasing to get rid of that stair jagged you know, effect, effect. And you can go up to eight times if you want to. Some games may lag, but obviously it's a case-by-case -case basis. I recommend that you enable VSync. And for the most part, you can leave the rest as is, unless you know what you're doing here. You can mess around with audio, but most of the time you want to leave that. Go to controls, control mapping. You can you don't know, map different controls. You can even press it on here, and this will override it, delete you. If you press plus, this will literally, you know, I've just pressed B, so it came up with B3. It will literally add another option for pressing up on the D-pad. I'm going to delete that, leave that as is. And again, I'll have got a separate video covering it, but I'll briefly show you in here. If you scroll down, you can do different stuff for the save state, load state, next slot as well. There's some networking features, tools, system and system. There's a cool one for rewinding, you know, your gameplay. Again, I've got a separate video covering that. Feel free to check it out. Now I'm gonna open up Liberty City Stories. And I'm gonna, so using this con configuration, if you press L4 on the back buttons, I can you know, load and save states and I can go into settings as well. So if I go to load state, there we go we have psp games working and that is it it's that simple if you have any questions feel free to post on the discord group link in the description if you like the video give it a thumbs up share it, the video with your friends get them to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one bye bye